Um, my name is Katrina Trantham, and I am the Assistant Dean for Recruitment and Admissions for the College of Fine and Applied Arts at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. It's a nice long title. Um, generally, I am invited, I see wincing, I'm too loud. Can everyone hear me here? Thank you. Um, generally, I'm, I visit high schools, and I'm talking to high school students about the arts, and they already know they're interested in the arts, and the number one question I get is, please help me convince my parents to let me major in sculpture, or please let my parents let me major, in, talk to my parents about letting me major in theater. So usually it's a little bit different, my presentation, but um, but as I was preparing for today, I started thinking about the number one uh, questions I get from parents when I do have an opportunity to speak with parents. Uh, and by far, the number one question I get is about academics and future careers. So I chose to focus on those two areas tonight. And you'll see a lot of repetition in, in what Randy uh, spoke about earlier. I promise we only met two hours ago, but I'm going to be reinforcing a lot of the things that he shared previously. So I am actually a studio artist. My background is in painting. I could stand up here and talk all night about how fantastic art is and how everyone should be pursuing the arts. Um, but in the interest of time, I've narrowed it down to a top five list. And so this always gets everyone's attention, uh, test scores. Everyone is always asking about test scores. What's your minimum test score? What should I be aiming for with the test scores? And um, as an artist, I, I'm uncomfortable standing up here and saying the test score is the most important thing. And honestly, it's not the most important thing on anyone's application to the University of Illinois, but it is required, so we should talk about it. Uh, studies show, and there are many, many, many studies that show this, too many to cite tonight, that students that are involved in the visual and performing arts do better on these tests than students that do not. And do they not just, they not only do better than students that do not, but they do better than the national average. So students that are involved in visual and performing arts are actually doing better on these tests. So you're probably wondering, why? How are these students that are painting and sitting in chorus and acting on stage, how is, it, how is that correlating to test scores? Well, all the studies circle back around to these conclusions. Uh, students that are involved in the arts have better study habits. Uh, if you are playing the trombone, do you automatically just get better without practice? No. Uh, if you are an artist, do you, does your drawing skill improve if you do not practice drawing? So it is innate in the visual and performing arts that you need to practice your craft, and those study habits parlay over to other studies. Uh, the visual and performing arts certainly help boost self-esteem. At an early age, you are on stage quite often in the performing arts. In the visual arts, you're dealing with constructive criticism at an early age, where you're putting your artwork up and your class is providing feedback and you have to swallow that feedback and move on. So it does help improve your self-esteem. And then finally, it sharpens attentiveness. If you are sitting uh, in a, as a member of your orchestra and you're not listening to what everyone else is doing, how do you think you're going to sound? Not good. You have to be attentive to those around you. It's a collaborative effort. You need to be paying attention. The same thing with theater. If it's your turn to start speaking and you're not paying attention, the play is not going to, well, it may have a dramatic conclusion, but not the kind that you want. Okay, study show number four, that uh, students that are involved in the visual and performing arts have higher, are more highly motivated overall in their studies and are more active in their communities. So they're four times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement. They're three times more likely to be running for class office and elected, uh, four times more likely to participate in a math and science fair, and they're three times more likely to win an award for school attendance. Now, I actually used to be a high school art teacher, and I can definitely speak to the school attendance. I had many, many students that would come to my class and tell me that my class was the only reason why they came to school. They really, really were in interested in what they were studying, and that's what got them up in the morning and got them to school. 
Okay, so studies show that also students that study the visual and performing arts do better overall in their grades, have a higher rate of graduation, and have a higher rate of enrollment in college. And this also goes back to the previous slides. They're, they're studying, they're more attentive, they're more motivated, they want to go to school. So let's talk about grades a little bit. Um, the visual and performing arts can actually help improve your overall GPA, and this is how. If a student is really interested in the arts and doing well in the arts, an A is an A. An A is an A. So is it better for a student to take classes that they're really interested in and passionate about and do very well in, or take classes that they think they should take and do very poorly in? Sometimes students are convinced to take classes that they think they should take, that they really are not down with, and it can pull down their overall GPA. So when we are looking at five, when we're reviewing applications, we are definitely looking for overall grades, and good grades in any class shows um, that a student is interested and trying their hardest and shows a strong work ethic. And then the number one reason, and I put this as number one, because this is by far the number one thing I'm asked about, is careers. Is my student going to be able to get a job someday if this is their passion, is it, is, if this is what they're interested in? And the number one thing in recent studies that employers have been asked that they're looking for in new hires is for people to be creative and innovative which Randy mentioned as well. Um, more and more people are graduating without these traits, and there are colleges that are actually scrambling now to create majors in creativity. Majors in creativity. When our students, if they are, if they are pursuing the visual and performing arts all the way up through school, they already graduate with that trait. So how does this come back to the University of Illinois? Now, I've been told many, many students graduate from this district and make their way to the University of Illinois, which is fantastic. And many students are interested in majors that are not art related, which is unfortunate, but I will accept that fact. <laughs> And so how does this look on their application? When a student is applying to the University of Illinois, does it really matter if they were in band, if they're not interested in pursuing band? And the answer is yes, it does matter. Uh, we are, when we're reviewing files, and when I say files, I mean applications, we're looking for what sets your student apart from everyone else, because everyone has taken the three to four years of math. Everyone else has done this. Okay, this is the minimum requirements to get into the University of Illinois. Everyone else has done this. So we're looking for something else, the intangibles. What has your student done that is different, that sets them apart? And the visual and performing arts are certainly that. I'm sure many of you have heard that half of our uh, marching Illini are actually engineer majors. The majority of students in that band are not music majors. So those are students that have decided not to pursue music but are still very passionate about it and interested in being active in that in, at the university level. I cannot stress enough how important the college essay is. Now, everyone knows how big the University of Illinois is, right? How many, how many undergraduates does the University of Illinois have? Any guesses? 35,000 is close. We have just under 35,000, okay? So every year we admit approximately 7,000 new freshmen are admitted every fall. How many applications do you think it takes to get those 7,000 new freshmen? How many students apply every year to the University of Illinois? More than 20,000. 30, 35,000. We received 35,000 applications last year. And so you're probably thinking, there's no way that a human being is reading those college essays. <laughs> Right? <laughs> There's no way. The answer is yes, yes. Two human beings are reading every single essay. Two. Sometimes three if the two disagree. So everyone is reading those essays and we are looking for a reason to admit your student. 
We want to get to know your student better. And this is the place. This is the number one, in my mind, the most important thing on your application. This is where if you studied abroad, you let us know that. That sets you apart. That's unique. If you started your own business, you tell us about that. If you had a hardship, if your student had a hardship freshman year, and that explains why maybe grades dipped that year, this is where you explain that. So we understand that no two students are alike. We understand that. And that's why we take a, a holistic approach to the review of applications. So yes, we're looking at test scores, but there is no minimum score. There is none. There's no cutoff. We're looking at everyone. Uh, yes, we're looking at grades. We're looking at academic achievements. And yes, we're reading every single one of those essays. And for the College of Fine and, Visual, Fine and Applied Arts, we're actually uh, looking at portfolios and we're looking at auditions. And I just wanted to finish with this slide because actually when I do my high school presentations, this is the slide I always start with and this is the slide I always finish with. And this is where I do my little sell to you on why everyone in this room should major in something art related when you go to college. Uh, we had a student several years ago that applied to the University of Illinois and was admitted to engineering. And everyone knows engineering is very competitive at the University of Illinois, so the fact that he was admitted is astounding. That's fantastic for him. He came to the University of Illinois and he hated engineering. He hated it. He toughed it out for the first year and then he decided this is not for me. Guess what he transferred into? dance. His parents freaked out. <laughs> now, clearly, to be admitted to dance, you have to have some experience in dance, because we do require an audition. So this student had, been, had a history of dance. So other people knew that this student liked dance and was a good dancer, but he was pushed pushed, pushed because he was very smart, he had very good grades, he was admitted to engineering, he would be silly not to go into engineering, right? He would be silly, but he was unhappy. So he transferred into dance, he graduated with a dance degree, and he is now dancing with the Mark Morris Company in New York City. He's a successful dancer and his parents are very proud. So the moral of that story is to help your student find their calling. Now, everyone understands that everything you do, you're going to like. You're not always going to like every class you, you're going to take in high school or in middle school. You're not going to like everything you do in your future job. Um, but you should love most of it. You spend a lot of time at work. Everyone here knows you spend a lot of time at work. No one should aspire for their student to be, do a job someday that they're not going to love. They should really love it. And that's it for me. Thank you.